Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I'm the Super Sheep Dane and today we are going to be continuing onwards with Olympus Coliseum. Oh fantastic. So this get here apparently doesn't think we're heroes even when we killed a bunch of monsters. Although we haven't really killed that many in retrospect because we've only done two worlds in a story. But I digress. Anyway, let's just leave. There's not much we can do in this room right now. Boom. Ah, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? It's only James freaking Woods! <laughs> oh, hey, hold on there, fuzzboy. Oh, the, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well then, hey, get a load of this. A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. Shorty? Well, at least I'm not hot-headed. God, some people these days. Anyway, yeah, we just got the entry pass off of, um... Of, of Hades there, which is one of my favorite Disney characters, by the way. I love Hades. Amazing character. I love him long time. Anyway, let's go back, talk to Phil, and tell him what's what, because we need to gain access to the games! I <laughs> love that. The games. Ah, uh, the voice actor. Why did you say it like that? I want to know this. If, if, if the voice actor for Phil is watching this video, tell me why. Anyway. It's Dr. Phil here. So yeah, how do we get this? It doesn't matter how we got it, man. We got our... We got our... We got our... What's the word? What's the word? Ways, I guess. Anyway, that's the preliminary qualification sticker thingy, really. So let's just gain access to the preliminaries. Where he's going to give tell us about weirdos joining up for the games. He's really talking about the Heartless for the most part, because... Like I said, this is an arena-style battle coliseum, so we need to do and go up the tournament by fighting a bunch of Heartless. And I used to have so much trouble with this. You know, not with this in particular, but with certain, certain of the, some of these matches, I used to have so much issues actually getting through. But the matches themselves shouldn't really be too much of an issue. You played the game up until this point already, you should know what to expect. I mean, if you really get into trouble, just do madman sort of just roll like a madman what's this is this no this can't be cloud why are you wearing Vincent's clothing ah uh, I told you not to go into his wardrobe but no you just had to get that cape you oh, know ah uh, and Phil isn't joking about him being tough to beat cloud is immensely difficult the thing is, Cloud's just like Squall, you don't actually need to beat him to be to continue with this plot. Obviously you'll want to beat him, but um, I don't think it really matters in this version. If you beat him in the original version, which I tend to do all the time, I find it harder to beat him in this version compared to the original for some reason. But if you beat Cloud in the original version, you'll get Sonic Blade. I think in this version you get it anyway. Don't quote me, I think you might get it anyway in both versions of the game, but... I'm covering all bases here, folks. I can't remember all these things completely off the top of my head. But, um, remember last part, we got a glorious, glorious skill known as Thunder. Now, one one good thing about Thunder is basically, it is wide range, so boom. If, it's, if you're getting surrounded by enemies, Thunder is your man. And Thunder tends to be extremely powerful. Now, if you play this like I used to play the game, which is basically having no defense throughout the game at all, um, this fight in particular will be a bit of an issue for you because those... I forget the name again. Uh, the Requiems, that's the one. The Requiems will throw fireballs and just tit tatter your health down. They'll slowly dip dob your health downwards. Anyway, of course I'm better than, I, than you thought. I'm, I'm, mother I'm that motherfucking Keyblade Master, son. Ugh. Anyway, match number four, Shadow Platoon. Um, again, same as always, just 
basically try your best. If if they're shooting fireballs at you, you can hit them, hit the fireballs as well. But um, sometimes it's more luck based than anything. One thing I can advise though is to really use the magic that's the opposite of the elements of these things because obviously that will equal an instant kill. An instant kill is cool, man. I missed. Shotgun ice. Oh, curses. Yeah, well, fine. Goofy gets the kill. It doesn't matter. We all get the experience. Because one thing that's good about this game, folks, is that no matter how much experience you get... Oh, Christ. There's so much blue! They're thinking of fast! But, um, there's so much experience available in this game. Well, not so much... Ah, what am I on about? I'm trying to think and it's not working. Well, I'm trying not to die right now because these guys... Will, like I said before, these guys will slowly but surely get your health down. So, um, if you've done, one thing I can really advise is really do the stage after you've done the next level, because like, this, you can basically tackle this Mega Man style. The main, the main plus of beating the next stage first is you get heal, and of course, Kiwa is uh, very useful to have. Alright, as I was saying about the experience, no matter how much you get, you all, 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 everyone in your party member gets equal experience points, so it doesn't really matter. It, do, it isn't shared in any way. That little punk is your next opponent, okay? Now don't blow it, just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says- I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him! Come on! Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it! I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Jeez. Stiffer than the stiff's bag home. Still, suckers like him are hard to come by. <laughs> That is foreshadowing. Oh Christ, one of these things. Ugh. Fine, I'll do my best to take this guy out. I don't want to waste magic right now because I have, as I'm playing this right now, I have very limited magic, so I really like to save that just in case I might need it later on. But um, the big guy is the least of your worries, to be honest. He does shockwave attacks and very annoying little bits and bobs that will whittle your health down, but really. Heal, heal, heal! Oh, thank you, Christ. Be sure to take a potion in, by the way. You're gonna need it. But yeah, the, um, like I said, the big guy, really, don't worry too much about him. He's he's the least of your worries in this entire fight. These little gits, by here that I'm failing a hit, are very awful. Ow. Fire. There we go, and you can just chill out. Alright, there we go, it's just me and the big guy. The big guy alone is easy enough to take out, so just whack him in the back. Alright, what was I saying anyway about previously? Oh yeah, um... One thing, one thing I like is that I, for the most part, a lot... Kingdom Hearts does a good job of getting the original Disney voice actors back to reprise the roles, like uh, James Wood is, Woods is Hades, um... I... I don't know if all of the characters are back. I know most of them are. Like, I think Phil's a completely different person than what he was in the animated film. The which I think is... But I think he's the same voice actor as he was back in the animated series. But I don't care. I wouldn't have it any other way considering his games. Alright, welcome to the fight with Cloud. Now, this boss fight, folks, is very, very difficult. He will parry you a lot. He will do Sonic Blade a lot, which is that nice little dash attack he has. He'll sometimes jump from the sky and whack you, among other things. Now, if you have guard and counter-attack, it makes this boss fight pretty pathetic, but um, until you get those moves, you chances are you're going to have issues, because this guy is tough. Now, one thing I can probably advise is just to try and parry him best you can, but as you can probably see from me, that's not an easy task. Whoa. 
after you get so much health down low, you will start- oh god. You'll start spamming Sonic Blade, which is something you don't want to see him do. Sonic Blade is, uh, what can I say? Not easy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try my best to win, but- oh, I died. Oops. Guys, are ready because that's not an easy boss fight. <laughs> that's not an easy boss fight at all. The guardian dog of the underworld Cerberus is the next boss, folks, and I am not tackling him this part. You might, I'm not, I am got a death wish. But one thing I'm going to tell you in this part right now is uh, make sure that um, you have a lot of portions, a lot of high portions equipped to Sora. Um, you don't really need to bother with Donald Goofy because what am I doing? I'm just yeah. Don't have to worry about Donald Goofy too much because they are pretty. Uh, what's the what's the best le least blunt way of putting? They die a lot. But anyway, be sure to equip all those stuff. Um, if you have any fire protection equipment like Efrit, if if is it pronounced Efrit or Efrit? I don't know. But if you have anything that um, reduces fire damage, be sure to try and protect it. And um, protect it, equip it because. There's a lot of fire damage in this battle, and there's a lot of dark damage as well, so be prepared. Anyway, I'm just going to give Donna an extra protect chain, and Goofy doesn't really need anything. So, with that, I'm going to call it a part here because I'm not looking forward to that boss fight. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate your like or comment to the video, and when we return, we will take on the Guardian Dog of the Underworld. So, until then. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!